welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm super grateful to have you here. My name is Farida, also known as Curly Proverbs, and I'm into all things hair and Ayurveda, I'm holistic approach to hair care, both inside and outside. We look at regimens, we look at ingredients, we look at deep conditioners, we look at DIYs, all that good stuff. And we have routines that we know work, not just because I say so, but my audience are living testimony to the fact that all of these treatments do actually work. Um, consistency is key. And this is going to be the fifth, the fifth video in our six part series looking at want long hair? do this. Um, and today we are going to actually be looking at supplementation and nutrition and how to basically increase your hair growth and retention from the inside out. Um, because you know what, you can apply all the conditioner you want, but if your body does not have the tools that it needs to produce healthy hair growth, then you're kind of missing a really big part of the equation and you're going to be severely limited in the results that you can get. Don't forget in the description box below, there's going to be links to the products mentioned and a printable document that you can use for making a note of anything that you find to be of interest in this video. It's got leading questions just to help you to order your thinking and get the best out of this course. We're going to be doing a live chat right here on my YouTube channel and also over on my Instagram for an IG live. We are actually going to be talking through anything you feel that I didn't answer um, and um, having like a little Q&A specifically geared towards what we talked about in today's video. So before we get into today's video, a massive shout out and thank you to our sponsors, Skillshare. They have been so bomb and supporting my channel for years now, helping me to to produce content of high quality for yourselves and they are basically an online platform where people can come and learn and develop skills from anything from animation to uh, uh, how to do henna art or how to uh, speak Spanish uh, or, or, or watercolor whatever it is that you're interested in growing a business, uh, marketing, growing your social media presence. They have um, courses that will engage and, and teach you really, really high quality information. So I have been loving the essentials on how to start a successful online business course. Uh, it's run by Tracy Wallace, editor-in-chief at Big Commerce. She has got some real inside information, just the same as all the people who have courses on Skillshare. Super, super knowledgeable. Um, and also I have got a link in the description box which allows the first 1,000 people to click to get two months of the premium absolutely free. So please do check it out. So there are several different things that can lead to issues with hair growth uh, and we're going to be exploring that but the things that I'm going to be talking about today will also benefit you if you have normal hair growth but you want to boost and increase your growth rate. The very first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are including these supplements as part of a well-balanced, varied diet eat a rainbow okay i'm not saying that you need to be vegan uh, i'm not saying that you should or you shouldn't what i am saying is if meats take up a small proportion of your diet you are forced to eat varied and you are forced to eat a wide range nuts seeds legumes greens avocados um um carrots oh my goodness these things are amazing for hair growth so you want to eat a varied diet because your nails and your hair are the last points that your body is going to utilize its nutritional resources because it's concentrating on keeping your organs highly functioning uh, your menstrual cycle going if you menstruate um and then you know your, your hair and your, your nails are going to be the last things in the queue because I guess they're non-essential. And let me tell you, if you suffer from PCOS and that's causing problems with your hair, if you suffer from um, alopecia, if you suffer from um, 
Shoot, even having like a continually low mood, it's amazing the difference that juicing can make and smoothie making can make in that regard. So let's talk about some specific things that I have used time and again and I know really work to stimulate hair growth. I think the first thing that I need to mention is MSM. I've again done a full in-depth video on this, um, but I'm just going to quickly summarize. But if you want more information, it is here on my channel. MSM is essentially a source of sulfur. Your hair, the keratin in it, has sulfur to sulfur disulfide bonds, okay? So in order for in order for keratin to be formed, you need sulfur to be available readily. The more that you have available, the faster your body can actually synthesize, make keratin. Um, and I noticed within a matter of days, my nails are growing faster and I need to shave my legs more often. And what do you know it? My hair starts growing in thicker and faster. So MSM, which is a source of sulfur, is amazing for um, stimulating hair growth. It works in a very similar way to onion. Onion is very rich in sulfur um, and that's why it works so, so well. So a couple of things that I would say is one, start with a super, super low dosage. This stuff is powerful, as are several of the things that I'm going to say today. It, it, this is not just like, oh, it could help, it could help, or you, you'll see a difference in like three months. We're talking immediate difference, um, but it also detoxifies the body massively. So you can end up with getting headaches, you can end up getting spots, um, it could bring on migraines, it could even bring on lucid dreams. And I find that being super hydrated and starting with a super low dose, I mean, literally a quarter of what it states on the packet and building your way up, not only does that increase the length of time in which you see the benefits from MSM, it also allows your body to acclimatize to it. Also use it in conjunction with vitamin C or have it with a glass of orange juice um, and it will really, really help your body to assimilate and utilize the sulfur much better. So because it's water soluble, what happens is that if your body's not able to utilize it quickly enough, especially because it's not used to it, you just end up losing it in your urine. So to make sure that the dose stays in circulation for longer, divide your dose to morning and evening, um, adding up to eventually the maximum stated on whatever powder it is that you purchased. Um, one thing that I added to my smoothies, which made a, an immediate difference because of all the omegas, the fats, um, the amino acids that are in it, it's chia seeds. Chia seeds massively helped with my hair growth and my nails. It was ridiculous. I was like, huh. And it takes a couple of days. Again, it takes a couple of days for you to start to see benefits. So if you can get your hand on a bag of chia seeds, why not include that as part of your regimen? Now, with what I was saying earlier about making sure that you have the full spectrum of nutrition, um, I just want to emphasize that missing one particular uh, component of your nutrition can have a devastating effect on your hair growth. For example, if you're deficient in vitamin B3, zinc, magnesium, manganese, or iron, those are really key for hair growth. And if you're deficient in those, your hair will start to fall out or break and or both, right? Um, so it's really important to take a multivitamin and mineral complex or to just ensure that you have a varied diet. I just really wanted to emphasize that. Um, and if you are really struggling, I would suggest that maybe you take get a blood screen to actually um, double check if you are deficient in a particular vitamin because that could be something that you need to address. There are three things which have been shown to be factors which definitely affect hair loss and cause alopecia. One, a massive decrease in your protein intake. Two, a drastic amount of weight loss, again probably linked to um, just not enough calories going into the body for it to expand into a luxury such as your hair. Um, and the other thing is having a deficiency in a particular vitamin. 
So niacin is one of those things, it's actually vitamin B3, which is well known to um, affect your hair growth. Um, and you can actually get supplements of niacin um, that will really help to rebalance this. Now, foods that are rich in it include avocado, greens, peas, those are all really rich in vitamin B3. And what vitamin B3 does is it increases the keratin synthesis, it increases the elasticity of your hair, it increases the density of the follicles, but it's not a quick fix. It takes time for you to actually see results. You know, it could be three to six months before you're really seeing a sustained improvement. So you might want to consider using something like MSM, which is fast acting once you've researched all of the um, symptoms and side effects. You might want to supplement that with your vitamin in B3, knowing that it's going to have an effect later on down the line, because it does take a longer time to actually work. That said, if you're in a hurry and you decide that you're going to up your dose and take too much, it can cause all sorts of things like stomach upset, it can cause blurred vision, you just don't want to do it, you just want to take a recommended dose, or just above the recommended dose over a long period of time. Um, and it does take time, as I say. The other thing is there's a side effect to um, vitamin B3 and MSM um, can actually be heightened if you're consuming alcohol. So do not take around a time that you are going to be consuming alcohol. Really look into that for yourself um, before you start to supplement. The other thing I would say is biotin, right? Biotin is said to be amazing for stimulating hair growth. Personally, I was unable to utilize it because it gave me palpitations. It did not agree with me and I listened to my body because you know what? Long hair is not worth my life and it's not worth making myself unwell. So um, biotin is actually very well documented to increase hair growth rate. But again, you have to listen to your body and I can't speak much on it because it's not something that I have incorporated into my routine or diet. Collagen, I have been using Using for over a year now. Um, I have to say that in conjunction with MSM, it works wonderfully for helping with my skin, helping with my joints. I was having real problems because I started running. I've been doing the couch to 5k um, and just including um, collagen really helped massively with my recovery time. And it is one of the basis uh, for actually um, stimulating hair growth and having a very healthy scalp and thickening hair hair growth as well. I'm going to link below the collagen that I take. It's the it's a type 1 and type 3 collagen in combination. Um, it is a bovine variety, but there are vegan options available as well. Uh, the other thing that's worth noting is if you can't stand the taste of MSM, collagen would be a good alternative because it does not really have a taste to it at all. And personally, I did not experience any side effects whatsoever. So that could be something that you look into if MSM hasn't been working all that well for you. Okay, so things that I'm going to be looking at and looking into in the future, which are reputed to help with um, hair growth is CMOS and Moringa. I'd really love to hear if you have a testimonial relating to that in the comments section below. Um, definitely do your research into those. They are really potent, really powerful. Um, Moringa grows wild in tropical climates, including across the Caribbean and in Africa as well. Um, Moringa tea is very famous in Sierra Leone, which is where I'm from. Um, and it helps so much with if you're lactating to increase uh, the amount of milk that you're producing. It has, again, a wide range of um, effects on the skin and the body as a whole whole and helping your body to um, work better again increases the rate of things like nail and hair growth because your body is at its optimal and actually has the luxury of being able to contribute to your hair and nails. So I hope you feel like you have got a few ideas of things that you might want to consider. Um, one other ingredient I would like to mention is red clover. So if you're experiencing a hair loss due to the menopause, really look into and consider using red clover. It is one of those ingredients that really balances out um, hormonal imbalances and actually um, blocks the pathway that leads to hair loss and that burning sensation that you get at the 
front of your hairline where your hair starts to break and fall out um, if that happens to be one of the symptoms that you experience as part of the menopause so definitely look into that if that is your issue um, and come back and let us all know how you get on with it so um, I hope at this point that you have some ideas for things that you want to try and um, things that you want to incorporate Again, in order to find out what works for you, don't be like, ah, oh, so CP says that I need to take MSM biotin and she said I need to take collagen and you go out and buy all these things. Do not do that. Um, you want to start with one thing and note how well it works and then move on to the next. In fact, as far as MSM is concerned, you need to keep increasing the dose for it to work and then it gets to the point where it kind of plateaus. You take a break, month or two, you come back to it. In that month or two break, you might want to look at taking um, something like Moringa and collagen to see how that affects your hair growth as well um, and then circle back. Um, yes, they work well synergistically, MSM and collagen, but don't use them both to start with at first. Um, make sure that you have experience with at least one before you start building and your supplementation. But everyone should be taking multivitamins and minerals and have a very balanced diet to maximize um, their results with hair growth. So um, do comment below if you've used any of these things and they've worked well for you. Let other sisters and brothers know um, if it's something that they might want to try and they just need the extra push of somebody in the community encouraging them. Mm -hmm.